Welcome to Tech Spectrum Pro. We are diving into the world of wireless LANs today. Wireless LANs or WLANs are networks that use radio waves to connect devices within a specific area. Imagine a home, a school or an office where multiple devices need to communicate, share data and access the internet. That's where WLANs come into play. The beauty of WLANs lies in their ability to provide wireless connectivity, enabling devices to connect without the need for physical cables. They offer flexibility, mobility and increased productivity as users can access network resources from almost anywhere within the network's coverage area. In today's digital world, WLANs have become a critical component of our daily lives. They power our smart devices, facilitate remote work and learning, and keep us connected with the world around us. Understanding wireless LANs is the first step to mastering their configuration and verification. Let's get started on this fascinating journey. Configuring wireless LANs involves a few crucial steps. Let's delve into these steps and understand the intricacies involved. The first step of configuring a wireless LAN involves setting up your wireless router. This is the hardware that broadcasts the wireless signal and allows devices to connect to your network. It's important to position your router in a central location within your home or office to ensure an even distribution of the signal. Next, you'll need to log into your router's management interface. This is typically done through a web browser using the router's IP address. Once you're logged in, you can begin configuring the settings. One of the key settings to adjust is the Service Set Identifier, or SSID. This is the name of your network that will be visible to devices searching for a wireless connection. Make sure to choose a unique and easily identifiable name. The next step is to set the security type for your wireless network. There are several options available, but the most common and secure option is WPA2 or WPA3. These security protocols provide robust encryption that keeps your network safe from unauthorized access. You'll also need to set a strong password for your network. This should be a combination of letters, numbers, and special characters that is difficult to guess. Remember, the strength of your password is crucial in preventing unwanted access to your network. Another important setting to configure is the wireless channel. This determines the frequency band your router uses to broadcast the wireless signal. It's best to choose a channel that isn't being heavily used by other nearby networks to avoid interference. You may also want to adjust the transmission power of your router. This determines the range of your wireless signal. If you're in a small apartment, you might want to lower the power to prevent your signal from bleeding into neighboring units. Conversely, if you're in a large house, you might need to increase the power to ensure the signal reaches all areas. Lastly, you may want to enable quality of service or QoS settings. These settings allow you to prioritize certain types of traffic on your network. For example, you can prioritize video streaming or gaming to ensure a smooth experience. Once you've made all these adjustments, don't forget to save your settings. You can typically do this by clicking a Save or Apply button within the router's management interface. And there you have it. These are the key steps involved in configuring a wireless LN. Each step plays a vital role in ensuring the optimal operation of your network, from the placement of your router to the security of your network. Now that we've configured our wireless LN, it's time to verify its settings. Verifying your wireless LAN's configuration is just as important as the configuration itself. This affirmation is the core of our discussion today. Verification is the final step that guarantees the correct operation of your wireless LAN, and it's a process that we should never overlook. Let's break down this process into simple, manageable steps. The first step in verifying your wireless LAN is checking the connectivity. This involves making sure that your devices are correctly connected to the wireless network. You can do this by checking the network status on your devices. If your device shows that it's connected to the correct network, then you're off to a good start. Next, 
we need to ensure that we have a strong and stable signal. This can be checked using a wireless network analyzer tool, which will provide you with information about the signal's strength and quality. If the signal is weak or keeps dropping, it might indicate an issue with the placement of your wireless access points or interference from other devices. The third step is verifying the security settings. This is a critical part of the verification process as it ensures that your network is protected from unauthorized access. You should check that your encryption settings are correctly configured and that your password or passphrase is strong and secure. Now let's move on to checking the performance of the network. This involves testing the speed and latency of the network to ensure it's operating at optimal levels. You can do this by running a speed test from a device connected to the network. Finally, we need to verify the functionality of the network services. This includes checking if the DHCP server is correctly assigning IP addresses and if the DNS server is resolving domain names properly. These steps might seem detailed, but each plays a significant role in ensuring the optimal operation of your wireless LAN. They can help you detect potential issues early and address them before they escalate. For instance, a weak signal might indicate a need for additional access points, while a security issue could point to a vulnerability that needs immediate attention. Of course, the verification process doesn't end here. It's an ongoing task, requiring regular checks and updates to keep up with the changing network conditions and security threats. To sum it up, the process of verifying a wireless ELAN is a critical part of network management. It allows you to confirm the proper operation of the network, identify potential issues and ensure the security and performance of your wireless connections. Remember, the goal here is not just to set up a wireless ELAN, but to set it up correctly and keep it running smoothly and securely. And that's where verification comes in. With the verification complete, you can be confident in your wireless LAN's performance and security. And that, my friends, is the ultimate goal of every network engineer. Let's put theory into practice with a practical demonstration. Now, I'll walk you through a real-world example of configuring and verifying a wireless LAN. This demonstration will give you a hands-on understanding of the process and help you grasp the importance of key settings and security configurations. First, we'll start with the configuration of the wireless LAN. Enter the router's configuration mode and define the SSID or the network name. Then set the channel frequency and the transmission power level. Remember, these settings are crucial as they determine the strength and range of your wireless network. Next, let's move on to the security settings. These are incredibly important to protect your network from unauthorized access. First, set the network authentication method. This could be WPA2 or WPA3, depending on your security needs. Then, configure the encryption type. AES is a good choice for most networks due to its strong encryption. Now that we've set up our wireless LAN, it's time to verify. This step is crucial to ensure that your network is functioning as expected. You can use a variety of tools for this, but let's start with the simplest. Checking the router's status page. This should show you the SSID, channel, and security settings you've just configured. If everything looks good, your network is up and running. To further verify your network, connect a device to it. Check the connection strength and try accessing the internet. If everything works smoothly, congratulations! You've successfully configured and verified your wireless LAN. But don't stop there. Regularly check your network's performance and security settings to ensure they're up-to-date and functioning properly. Remember, maintaining a secure and efficient network is an ongoing process. This demonstration should give you a clear idea of how to configure and verify your own wireless LAN. Let's quickly recap what we've covered today. We delved into the world of wireless LNs, understanding their importance in today's connected world. We looked at the intricate steps that go into configuring a wireless LAN, from setting up the right parameters 
to ensuring the network is secure and efficient. We also explored the verification process, ensuring that your wireless LAN is up and running smoothly and how to troubleshoot common issues. We've seen practical demonstrations of these configurations and checks, giving you a first-hand view of what it looks like to work in this field. In essence, we've taken a deep dive into the world of wireless LANs, ensuring you have the knowledge and tools you need to configure and verify these networks with confidence. By understanding, configuring and verifying your wireless LAN, you're well on your way to mastering this essential aspect of network engineering. Thank you for joining us on Tech Spectrum Pro and we'll see you in the next episode.